Grammy imagines over a dozen of himself, and with their combined powers, he imagines Kenpachi in outer space. Though significantly injured, Kenpachi breaks through the imaginary space and slashes Grammy. Angered by his durability and strength, Grammy tries to imagine his body as strong as Kenpachi's, which in turn weaponized his own imagination against him, since he saw Kenpachi as an all-powerful monster, breaking his own body down. As he is dying, Grammy reveals his true body to be just a brain. Though his internal organs are greatly injured, Kenpachi relentlessly searches for Yachiru, who has disappeared. Then, he is set upon by Bambietta's squad, Sternritter T. Candace Catnip, Sternritter Z. Giselle Goel, Sternritter P. Meninus McElon and Sternritter G. Liltado Lampard. Though initially resisting, Kenpachi is overwhelmed by their combined power. Ichigo suddenly crashes down in, creating a hole leading to the Soul Palace and effortlessly tosses the four Stern Ritters away from Kenpachi. Soul Reapers and Stern Ritters alike are shocked by his entrance. Angered by Ichigo's status as a special war power along with Kenpachi, the four Stern Ritters activate their Volstandig to face Ichigo, but none can lay a hand on him. When Candace charges up a giant lightning bolt, Ichigo combines two Getsuga Tensho from his two Zampakuto into a Getsuga Jujisho, cutting her arm off. Giselle uses a dead Soul Reaper's tissue to generate a new arm for her. When they try to regroup for another attack, Basby uses Burner Finger 1 and shoots them all down to claim the glory of beating Ichigo for himself, but then three more stern Ritters arrive. Surrounded 8 to 1, Ichigo tries to fly off to Yawatch who is trying to use the hole the former created to invade the Soul Palace. Renji, Rukia, Bayakuya, Hisejai, Yumachika, and Ikaku step in to hold off the stern Ritters, while Ichigo flies to Yawach. Yuryu immediately fires at Ichigo, who is shocked to see him on the enemy's side. When Yuryu activates Licked Regan, Chad and Oreheim arrive from Hueco Mundo to block it. As Yawatch ascends with Hashwalf and Yuryu, the three of them are left in awe. Yawatch's ascent to the Soul Palace blows everything and everyone in the vicinity away. Kairaku questions why Ichibai would even allow Yawatch to ascend so easily. Oriheim and Chad rebuke Ichigo, while Yurahara arrives to lead them to the 12th Division barracks, where Mayuri preemptively built a one-use replica of the Shiba clan's cannon to shoot Ichigo's group back up to the palace. Requiring massive energy to fire off, Yurahara had Yuruchi Shihoin and the remaining visored collect ratio from distortions in the human world, created by Quincy's since the first invasion. Bayakuya is surrounded by Candace and two more Quincy's, while Basby antagonizes Rinji and Rukia as soon as they emerge from the rubble. IBA breaks out of the rubble, having protected the wolf formerly known as Kamamura. Giselle tries to goad Ikaku and Yumachika into an attack, so they could get controlled, but when the latter exposes Giselle as being a male crossdresser, they are angered and summon the semi-conscious undead Bambietta. Giselle explains that they can zombify and control soul reapers just with a bit of their blood touching them, but a Quincy actually needs to be dead for them to control, so they personally executed Bambietta. Unable to combat Bambietta's ability, the two are overwhelmed and about to be zombified, until Mayuri and Nimu step in. Mayuri, already having created a device to counteract Bambietta's ability, nullifies her use as a pawn. Giselle summons their army of zombified soul reapers, comprised mostly of members of Squad 11. Mayuri then reveals his very own pawns, the reanimated former Sexta Espada Luppi Antenor, the two Privaran Espada Dordoni Alessandro del Sacaccio and Sarechi Sanderwichi, as well as Segunda Espada Berrigan Luzenberns Fratchen Charlotte Chulhorn, all retrieved by Mayuri from Octava Espada Sale Aporo Grants's lab. The resurrected Arancars effortlessly begin dispatching Giselle's zombies, so they summon the zombified Hitsugaya. Zombified Hitsugaya effortlessly beats Ikaku, Yumachika, and Charlotte but then Mayuri steps in and uses various drugs on Hitsugaya to slowly awaken his brain and take control over the zombie. Giselle summons their remaining zombies, Kensei, Rose, and Matsumoto. Surechi, Luppi, and Dordoni even the battle and Mayuri is able to use his drugs to take the reins over them from Giselle, who is then impaled by one of them. 
Meanwhile, Bayakuya uses his Bankai to defeat Candace, as well as Stern Ritter and Robert Akutron and Nanana, while Meninus and Liltado watch from afar. Hisaijai joins up with Bayakuya, but then tries to attack him. Stern Ritter El Pepe Wakabrata, who is able to use his Rasher to make virtually anything possessing a soul fall in love with him, took control over him and then takes control over Meninus to punch Liltado away, in order to remove the competition. When Pepe uses his ability on Senbin Zakura, the Zampakuto turns against Bayakuya as well and Hisaijai begins wielding it. When Bayakuya is cornered, Mayuri and the zombified Soul Reapers arrive, with Kensei using his Bankai to dispatch Pepe and knock out his own lieutenant. Pepe awakens among the rubble and tries to beg the approaching Liltado to spare him, but she consumes him as revenge for his backstabbing. During this, in a post credit scene, Yawach, Hashwalf, and Yuryu arrive into the Soul Palace. In ancient times, it 